Hey, welcome back to Bear's Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do a face cam as well as record your iPad screen. Uh, so maybe you're doing gameplay and you wanna have a face cam, you can do that here. Uh, maybe you're doing an educational video, okay, like a tutorial or something and you wanna face cam. So I'm gonna show you how you can use this app to do that. I had to move to make sure that there was hardly any reflection on the iPad. So here we go, let's do this part of the tutorial. Go to YouTube, and what you wanna do here, once you go into YouTube, is click on the YouTube button where it says upload video. Okay, and what you wanna do, you wanna go live. So go click on live. You can get to that by typing studio.youtube.com live stream so here we are we are at a live stream here and what we want to do is we want to create a live stream okay so let's wait for this to load up here we go we're loaded up uh, and so here what you want to do is you see where it says uh, stream settings okay under stream settings let's go ahead and create a new stream okay so let's go and generate a new stream key so go press on that and then give it a title let's just call it for example i don't know youtube face cam test like a YouTube face cam test. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything as default and then I'm gonna press create. All right, so now what I've done is I've created a new um, live stream here for my channel and I've got a live stream stream key, okay, which I need to have and I need also the stream URL. So those two things I'm gonna need, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the stream URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'm gonna to go to my StreamChamp. So here we are, we're on StreamChamp. What you wanna do with StreamChamp is you need to add the live stream settings here. So go ahead over here and click on these three dots that you see in the corner, yeah? So on the top right corner, I'm gonna click on those three dots. And then I'm gonna to go to, uh, where is it here? Oh, oh, ingests, okay? It says ingest, I don't know what language it is. Ingests, click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and add. So go to and click on add. We're gonna add a new, uh, live stream settings here. So call it whatever you want to call it. I think it was called YouTube face cam test. Uh, and then add here the URL. Remember the URL that I copied? So hit, go ahead and copy that URL and then go back and copy the key. Okay, so the URL key. So go ahead and copy that and go to StreamChamp and you can paste in the key here. Don't let anyone see this while you're doing it. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it there. Don't let anyone see that. They can go and hijack your live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and press add. So now I've added that live stream to the settings, okay, in the stream champ. So that's it, we're done. The live stream is set up. Now, how do I add the face cam? So click on, uh, click on this settings button. You wouldn't have a, a webcam button here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it and show you what you would have. And go press add. We're gonna press on add. And from here, we're gonna add the webcam, okay? Add the webcam. So this is an experimental feature. It may cut up your live stream. However, let's give it a go. Um, so click on the remote control. We wanna turn this on. This was, this would be off. So you wanna go ahead and turn this on. And then you wanna copy the URL code and the pairing, the remote uh, pair code, okay? So here we are. Let's go ahead and copy this. We'll copy the URL, uh, the remote URL. Just to show you, if I go to Safari here, okay, and I paste it, can you see it? That's the what the um, URL is. What you want to do with that is you want to go to your second device. Now that could be a phone, okay? It could be an iPhone, it could be an Android phone, it could be your computer using the webcam, it could be a secondary iPad. In this case, I'm going to be using another iPad, so let's go ahead and show you on the iPad what this looks like. So here I am on my um, my iPad, my secondary device, and I've typed in the URL here, okay, remote.streamchat.app. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put the remote code in, okay? So where do I get the remote code from? If I go back to, um, if I go back to StreamChamp on my original device, I can see here the remote code. So I wanna go ahead and copy that, I wanna copy the remote code, and then I wanna paste that remote code into my second device. So here I'm gonna paste my uh, remote code. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press link, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and press link here. That's gonna link the camera from my iPad or this could be an iPhone or this could be uh, your computer, okay? Whatever it is, it's gonna link the webcam to that stream. So let's go back and check this out then. 
So now that I've got my second device set up, okay, I want to move my webcam, uh, you know, where I want it. So I'm going to move my webcam over here, over my face. Now, what is this? This is just a little background because the iPad screen is a four by three and on YouTube, you have 16 by nine. So you've got this space left over over here. And so what you want to do with that is just add a picture. So I've added a background here. You can just upload your own picture here. I've gone ahead and, um, uploaded the picture that I've created myself from my photos so you can go from files or photos you can upload your own picture here in fact you know what let me go ahead and show you that so from photos you can choose a picture um, that you want to upload I just uploaded my profile pic okay uh, you could do it from file and then you can change it as well so for, for example you can have it fit you can have it fill you can have it pattern so I could just go ahead and wow look at that that's brilliant, isn't it? So you can uh, change it. I'll just leave it as fill. So I've moved my webcam over my face. So when I do the live stream, my webcam is going to be here. Actually, while I'm here and I'm on my second device, I might as well enable my camera. Okay, and press allow. So there you go. I've enabled my camera. Remember, all I need to do now is I need to press on the broadcast. Okay, I just need to start the broadcast because I've already added, remember, in the ingest here, I've already added uh, that live stream. Okay, that I've got going on, here we go, where's that live stream? So this is that live stream. At the moment, nothing's connected. I need to connect my live streaming software, the software that I'm using here, StreamChamp. So here we are. I think everything's set up now. Everything's ready to go. All I need to do is start the live stream. So all we need to do for that is to press the live broadcast. Okay, down here, you can see a button that says broadcast stream. So I'm going to go ahead and broadcast uh, this right now. So go ahead and broadcast. It's going to give you countdown, one, two, three. And the broadcast should start now. So the broadcast has started. I can go ahead and do whatever I like on the iPad and it's going to record the iPad screen. At the same time over here, I want to show you this now. So what you need to do here now is you need to click on connect to stream. So go ahead and click on connect to stream. That's going to connect uh, the iPad's webcam or the face cam to the stream now. I can now go ahead and just start playing uh, whatever I want to play, you know. So I can go ahead and now start my gameplay. And while I'm doing my gameplay, let's see if I find this dummy. <laughs> Look, dummy number three. We're on a mission to find the dummies. So while I'm doing my gameplay here, my live webcam is recorded from um, is recording from my second device. Now remember, this is my iPad, iPad Mini. For you, it could be your iPhone, it could be your Android phone, it could be your laptop, okay, whatever it is. So here we go, let's stop that. I'm running out of battery here. Uh, let's go ahead and stop that live stream. So how do I stop the live stream? Well, from my iPad, okay, I'm going to press on that little record button thing and it says your screen broadcast is going to stop. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to go to Safari and just stop this uh, uh, live stream. So here we go, we're going to end this stream here. And so what I've done essentially is I've recorded, okay, my iPad screen with a face cam using a secondary device, okay, and I've created a video. Uh, this could be a gameplay video with your face cam. This could be, okay, a tutorial. So instead of like doing the gameplay, I could have just, you know, opened up this and I could have annotated. It, it could have been, a, 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 you know, an educational video or whatever it was, whatever tutorial you want to make. Maybe it's something about making thumbnails and you're creating your thumbnails and you're showing them how to create a thumbnail and you've got your live cam going at the same time so then you would find that now so if you go back to your live stream okay uh, dismiss this you would find that live stream recorded under your live session so if i go back to my dashboard here and i go to content i can show you my live streams the, here is I've just recorded my live stream and my live stream is recorded with that camera so let me go and show you an example of one that I've done earlier okay as that still uploads I'm going to show you this one here so let's go and press play on this and you'll see that as this broadcast starts let's just fold it a little bit <laughs> you'll see my face cam pop up while I'm playing here we go look so can you see I've got a live camera here and I'm playing my game. Thank you for watching. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you are interested in Simplify Educational Tech, then consider subscribing, turn on notifications. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.